and just like that guys my camera sucks <laughs> we are at my grandma's pad starting another video here guys for you um we are going to get to installing axles on the hatch first and the real reason you guys are here is 500 horsepower guys 500 horsepower for the 335i which is back here just sitting looking really really good and i just lost a screw on my camera on the lens the lens is like falling and <laughs> i need to find that screw damn it that sucks I didn't think it was that loose, so uh, found it right here. Okay, I set that screw aside. Damn this camera. Okay, so I'm trying to hold the back end so that way I can look at myself on the screen, making sure everything is in frame. And uh, we are gonna get today started. So. Um, we already got one axle installed. That's gonna be the one with the intermediate shaft, which is the uh, driver's side here. So this one is already in. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean, how to install that. It's pretty damn simple. Um, splines align and that's it. You push them in and you're good to go. So I'll show you guys right now. So these have splines in them and these just go in one way. You just have to align it. Make sure the, the splines are aligned and that shit's in already. So that thing is in already. And what I'm gonna do with this side, guys, I will not show you exactly like how to um, put everything back on. I gotta like figure out where I'm gonna um, hold. Let me see. Okay. So I'm gonna let that sit like that because um, I don't have the lower control or yeah, the lower control arm bushing, the, the bushing that connects from the lower control arm to the actual hub itself, which is this one here. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. So this one here, I don't know if you guys can see that very well at all, but it's like very, very beat up. Okay, so right there you guys can tell it's beat up. So I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how these mount in. So um, once the spline for the uh, transmission is in, very simple. Next step you're gonna do is put the hub or put the uh, center of the axle through the hub, which is this whole thing here, this whole piece here. And um, this screw here goes right through the knuckle and then put on this uh, tie rod here. Put that right through, put the nuts on, you're gonna go. There, one is a uh, 19. The other one is a 17, so this tie, the tie rod will be a 17 millimeter bolt. The bottom one is going to be, you guys can see, it's going to be a 19 millimeter. So just so you guys know, then you guys can throw the uh, dampening fork back on, which is uh, this fork back here. It has a 14 millimeter bolt back there, which I need to tie up on my end as well. I got to put the bolts back in. Everything is not going to be connected yet, guys, just because I don't want to do it today. I want to focus more on the uh, BMW. So let me show you what I meant by the half shaft, though. So check this out. <laughs> Look at this beat up as. Anyway, this is the half shaft here, this intermediate shaft. This piece goes into the transmission. This piece here will be together with this uh, axle. So this, this piece in here, that this is the axle still. That's a part of the axle. The other piece has a little like this, like I told you guys a little bit earlier, and that just mounts right in and it connects and it's kind of a pain in the ass to come off, but that uh, intermediate shaft is gone to shit as well. So um, I got a new one, threw that in as well. Anyway, now we're gonna move on to the uh, BMW. So now that we got um, the hatch done, both of the axles are in, and uh, now we can start on the uh, 335i. Okay guys, so, um, the way I was going to do things kind of backfired on me. So I was going to originally, or I did originally, um, film something else, but it did not work out. So, um, I put four pieces of paper in a box written on them was what we, what products we had in stock, <laughs> like here at the pad that we could install into the BMW, into the 335i. I have the hood open right now and, um, we could not install two of the products today. Due to um, that right there, we don't have a jack, guys. So I cannot find my other jack stand, so I'm going to have to buy two whenever I go to Harbor Freight. I have to buy two more jack stands, maybe three, and that way I could um, have some more jack stands and I won't have situations like this happen to me again. Uh, I also buy, need to buy another jack, but um, that's going to be in the future. Um, 
for now, we're gonna install two of the products, guys. Since this backfired on me, we're gonna install two of the products into the BMW Road to 500 horsepower. Two products are gonna be down today, and I'm gonna start uh, removing everything. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what we're gonna install right now, and um, we're gonna start by uh, unhooking this right here. This, we're gonna take off this intake right here, and that tells you right there one of the things that we're gonna be installing. So we're gonna install dual cone intakes, guys, and the other thing is gonna be a charge pipe with the blow-off valve, guys. So um, be ready for uh, terrible spools, um, blow-off valve noises. Let's get it, guys. So I'm gonna start removing all this. Um, while I'm going, I will tell you guys what exactly like needs to be done, basically, because I don't know myself exactly what needs to be done. So I am gonna go ahead and start removing stuff. And if I see anything that I could tell you guys that I did, Personally, I will let you guys know, but for now, I'm just gonna start fucking yanking shit out. <laughs> I need to keep these parts for smog, so um, I am gonna keep these parts. I'm not gonna yank exactly out everything. I'm gonna pull everything out. I just said yank, it sounded funnier. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start pulling out these parts and carefully because I don't wanna damage anything, but um, yeah, let's get to it. So, I don't know exactly uh, how they did stuff i know you have to take off this right here you got to be very careful because this thing will break on you and then uh how does this i know uh does this pull off okay so this is gonna gonna be hard with okay okay so 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 okay so how did they do this Did this yank off? How did they do this? I saw this done before. I don't know exactly how it was done. I don't want to break anything. That looks like it's fucking impossible to take off. Oh, there it is. So, um, the way you do it is you press these in together, these little clips that it has, and press those together and it'll release it. That's one thing there, I don't want to like set this too far apart. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I think I have a leak in this hose. So that's probably what's causing my surging here. So I have a uh, a surge problem sometimes guys. And um, this hose right here, look it. Porque look it. So there's like a, a little damaged piece and this thing is not focusing. Focus bitch. So there's like a rip piece right there in the hose. I'm guessing that is where my um, where my leak is coming from, where my idle is coming from, my bad idle. Uh, I think it's coming from there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's just that. Hopefully, nothing else. But like I said, we're gonna keep ripping into this. I'm probably gonna get rid of this camera real quick. Bring the other, um, bring the other stand if I can find it, and uh, we'll keep digging at this real quick. Okay. So far, check out my arms. <laughs> So dirty, so filthy. Look at my hands. Look at that. It's crazy. Look at the other hand as well. So, check it out. We already emptied out this whole space here where the intake box was at. So, this intake box has these uh, little retaining clips. It has one, uh, two, three. Then these uh, little things that are hooked on like the uh, harness. It hooks onto these pieces here. Just unclip those. And then this has a um, hose right here. You guys could tell, and then it has just this um, screw here that you um, that you uh, loosen there, and these are the retaining uh, things right here. So these go into the uh, rubber pieces there, and I had to remove this as well. And these are just clips. So now that that's off, it's gonna be easier to get a, get to the charge pipe. So we're gonna do the charge pipe and the blow off valve right now before we get into doing the intake. So that way we have a lot more room. It'll be a lot more simple for us. Everything is removed. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I removed. One, two, three. I showed you guys that these turn clockwise, so towards the right, to unhook those. This one as well. This one is counterclockwise, so you twist it to the left. From right here, it's gonna be to the left, okay? So then, we unhook this as well. We unhook this from here. You just pinch it, and it'll come right off. Then for the uh, intake box, you remove one. Uh, two and three here of those fucking uh like retaining clips or retaining i don't know they they hold on to some rubber and um then these are on the side of the uh, box as well i don't know if you guys can see those and i burnt the shit out of myself so 
yeah those are that and then you have one uh sensor down right there you unclip that as well and then this has a um a clamp or a like clip it's this clip here and you just pull it apart it's pretty easy to take off i don't know how to explain it to you guys to take it off but it's fairly fairly simple just use a flathead screwdriver and it should have come right out um next was that torque screw right there which is a t30 you just remove that and um you have one final uh clamp right here once that it's out you're once that it's done you're ready to basically pull this thing out oh also i did remove this this hose here comes to this uh line here so it broke off right there I showed you guys a little bit earlier that i think that's the uh cause of my funky idle um hopefully i can get another hose fix that up and we should be fine good to go but um if not we'll see what's causing the uh leak later but for now this is what we're up to so um I'm trying to think of anything i missed just so i could keep you guys informed like completely informed ah hell yeah i was able to get it with the screwdriver okay so this is all coming out and let me show you guys what I did on that last one there so which was this one here um, I simply just uh, put the screwdriver on the side of here and rotate it so it was just like this I uh, pushed this one this way to the to the right and it came out All right, guys, so this charge pipe completely out. Like I said, it just comes with that clamp. The other clamp is that one that I showed you guys. This one here. And the uh, sensor comes out by, uh, you push this little clip up. Let me show you guys. So, just flick this up here. I don't know how well you guys can see that and that'll come apart so it just clips into this little hole here and I'm gonna take these apart take the sensor off put it on the new one and uh, we should be good to go guys so guys again I have no clue what I am doing so like I said bear with me so one is right here they slip right on guys just like so that one's all the way in. They slip right on, guys. Just like a condon. Just <laughs> if you guys don't know what a condon is, that's Spanish for condom. So, next one is gonna be all the way back here. You guys can see that one right there. We're just gonna slip this right on as well. Ugh. Just like so. That's all the way in. Oh, that one's all the way in now. Um, next, we are gonna figure out how to install this uh, blow-off valve. This HKS, look how pretty this thing is. Look how beautiful that is. So, we're going to figure out how to install this onto the new uh, charge pipe. And then we'll throw the new charge pipe in. We got to get the sensor on there. And um, I believe the O-ring that the old charge pipe has as well. Because I don't think this one comes with one. No, it does not. So, this one does not come with a O-ring. We're going to pull the other one off of the uh, original. So, make sure you do not mess that. Uh o-ring up this gasket here make sure you do not mess that up all right guys so um i don't know exactly how to do everything on this but um i already took off the charge pipe like i showed you guys a little bit ago um we got the o-ring in as well this old uh this is the old o-ring it comes from the old charge pipe uh we just threw that one back in because i didn't want to buy another one um pretty broke just trying to keep it budget as possible we already threw the mass airflow sensor on and that just comes with the new screws that uh were given to you in the uh, kit whatever and then we're gonna throw on the uh blow off valve we already got this um pretty much mounted the uh coupler as well blow off valve comes with an o-ring o-rings already in there this mounts on just like so and then the hard part guys is going to be this uh this c-clip here so this clip here okay so check it out I've been chilling for the past like 30 to 45 minutes um, just trying to fucking get this snap ring on for the blow off valve and could not for the life of me. So I called Napa Auto Parts right now to see if they have a snap ring uh, plier set in stock and they do. 
And then check this. This is the funnier part. So I asked him, told him I'll give him 10 bucks if he comes and brings it to me. He's gonna bring them to me, so <laughs> I was gonna give him ten bucks on top, you know, so he can get some, himself some lunch real quick. But um, he should be here soon, guys. <laughs> I think he's coming up right now. Hell yeah! So check it out. He's pulling up right now. Thank God for this guy right now. Thank you, boss. Appreciate it. Hell yeah, guys. So, we got the snap ring pliers right now. He just took off. He has to go back to work. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. I'm so happy. So, um, let's get this bitch on. Okay, so, after batallando with this shit for, like, a good 20 minutes after he brought the pliers. Carlos, shout out to you. If you ever get to watching this video, shout out to you. If I, I if you wouldn't have brought me those pliers, I don't know what I, I would have done. We did get the blow off valve. If you guys have any questions on how to do it, let me know. Um, the snap ring pliers helped me out tremendously. I could not do it without those. So, um, like I said, shout out to him tremendously, guys. So, um, now that we have it on, this is the real HKS blow off valve. The uh, real one has this HKS logo on it. The um, replicas do not. So um, look out for that, guys. They have some. They say something else, whatever. And then they are not like as quality built. This one is very, very quality. It's very heavy, and um, I don't know what else I could tell you guys about it. I'm not too into all that kind of stuff. But um, we do gotta fix this uh, elbow here. I don't know which way it goes. So um, I'm gonna install it and then turn it whichever way it needs to go and then we'll go from there um, I'm gonna install the other uh, thing once I put the uh, charge pipe in I don't want to throw it in right now um, what else can I tell you guys real quick the o-ring we did throw the o-ring in here this is from the old charge pipe so if you get the VRSF you are gonna need this um, old o-ring right there you gotta install that on this It's very 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 simple and then we did get the mass airflow sensor on as well and that is very Plain and simple. It comes with the with the hardware as well. Uh, so this whole kit came with everything. I, I didn't need to do anything else. So right now we're gonna, gonna get to installing this real quick, guys. I'm talking very very fast because I've been at this for fucking ever, and um, I'm ready to get this in, guys, and hear how it sounds. So I'm gonna adjust you guys really really quickly, and uh, the lighting is kind of sucky, but okay. I'll set you guys right there. So I left this um, coupler loose just so that I could wiggle around, you know, so that way just in case if it's not in the right um, angle, I could just give it a little nudge and it'll turn. So um, we're going to install this piece first and then we'll install, no, we're going to install this piece first and then we'll install this one after, but um, let's get it. So I'm struggling right now. Okay, so it's better. If you um, install the uh, charge pipe from this side here first, from the inside first. Sass guys, and blow off valve is installed. The HKS sitting so pretty. All right, now we got the dual cone intakes to install. Got all banged up already. And uh, we're still gonna keep going. So uh, we're gonna install these dual cone intakes and we should be good for today. <sighs> that was a hassle guys. Big old pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, 500 horsepower, guys. Coming soon. Let's get it. Let's keep going. Let's not lag on this. Let's get this thing finished. That way we could um, soon have four. The sooner the better we have 500 horsepower. Let's get it. Like, let's, let's just get this done so we can get that much closer to having 500 horsepower in this fucking BMW. All right, guys. So install is complete. We got the dual cone intakes. These were just attached by this aluminum tube. So this aluminum tube goes a little bit in here, a little bit in there into the uh, cone itself. They are the same thing, vice versa. And then um, these do clamp on with these uh, clamps, hose clamps that they give you. And then um, I had some hose laying around because uh, the hose that they gave me was not long enough. So um, this hose just vents into the um, into the hose that's back here. I don't know what it's called, but um, anyway, it's, let me see if I can show you guys. Let me, let me get my light, hold on. Uh, 
Okay, you guys can see a mob right there, right next to the, uh, right here. Uh, I don't know what that shit's called. Anyway, that's where it's attached to. Um, what else can I tell you guys real quick? Everything is tightened up. Um, it came with a couple zip ties. I put the zip tie right there. And on the other side, I didn't just because um, I couldn't reach. This hose that was ripped, I just reconnected it. It was long enough to reach. So um, that's cool right there. We're tightened up right there. Um, I'm going to move these tools here. And um, we have one more install, guys. One more install. I wasn't supposed to do this today, but um, I'm kind of antsy. So um, I'm going to get to clean up all these tools right here. I'm going to get to... Um, Figuring out a way that I could um, get another jack stand real quick or another jack something where I could um, easily put the uh, car on or onto and that way um, I could use the jack and get that last um, thing installed. I want to get everything installed today. We'll see. I want to get it like legit. I was supposed to do this like throughout four videos, but um, I'm already doing it guys. I just want to get it done. So I think I'm going to throw everything in this video. I'm going to show you guys right now. But if I can get this thing, this car jacked up on something, I will start uh, mounting the other uh, two things. So, check this out. I did this little Mickey Mouse. A Mickey Mouse is just something a little bootleg, something to get through real quick. So, um, yeah, I put some, uh, logs and two bricks right there just to hold the car up high enough so that when I get back under there, I can just throw the jack under and bring it back up. So. Yes, that's a Mickey Mouse. Anyway, let's get back to this real quick, the install. So we're gonna jack up the car right now. All right, guys. So you guys can tell here, front mount intercooler. I took it off. That tells you guys what we got next. Front mount intercooler, guys. Five inch. It's gonna replace this puny little thing. There's so much gunk under there though, guys. Damn, look at this. So much, like someone had this thing on a fucking farm or something crazy anyway let me get this uh, front mount intercooler real quick so you guys can see look at this fucking beastly thing right here it's a step intercooler there check that shit out super hot fire guys let's get this baby installed real quick <clears throat> let me just do a comparison real quick just so you guys can see I don't got much space but you guys can see here. Look at that thing. Look at that size difference right there. Let me back up here. Hold on. Look at that size difference. <laughs> Crazy. Like even if that thing was up there, look at that size difference. Size, guys. Lower idle air temperatures. Hell yeah. Here we come. Can't wait to get this thing installed, fully installed. It's supposed to be a plug and play. No modifications needed whatsoever. So we're gonna try to install this real quick. It was a pain in the ass, look at my hands. Crazy. Um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. If it's a little long, I'm sorry guys. That Rode 500 has me fucking hungry. Let's get it. All right guys. Front mount intercooler is up. And then. It's already one, guys. I've been at this since like 8 o'clock. So horrible. That's the pain in the ass, but check it. Love, love. Two cone intakes. Front mount intercooler. Hell yeah, guys. Um, let's turn this bitch on for the first time, see what's good. So I'm going to let her heat up real quick. Once she's all heated up, we'll give her a quick grab and uh, see what she sounds like. I'm excited. Alright guys, that is the install for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. There are more coming soon guys, I promise. Next, we're getting a tune guys. Hopefully down pipes. Stay fucking tuned. Catch you guys next time. Deuces! Okay, so, I was gonna call it a day. I'm driving home. Bro, I cannot get, I'm not gonna get enough of this fucking thing ever. It sounds so amazing. I can't wait to put Catalyst downpipes and get a tune on this bitch. 
Bro, I, I'm gonna forget about the hatch, honestly, <laughs> until I get it uh, tuned and fucking turboed up. Oh my god, this thing put a fat ass smile on my face. Let's see if you guys can hear it while we're driving. Super fucking sick. I'm sorry I'm cussing so much. I'm so in love right now. I'm not gonna wanna stop driving this thing. Let's get, let's see, let's get. Let's get it. Ow! <laughs> it sounds so sick, man. So sick. I love it. I'm I'm in love. Like for real. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Best purchase I've made all year, bro. Best purchase. I'm gonna stick this out the window, see if you guys can hear it. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can hear it. It sounds so dope. <laughs> I can't wait to show Charles. I'm not gonna get enough of this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, for realsies, call it a day. Catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace.